Hello. I have some questions to ask you today. I'll start off by asking, how are you feeling? Okay. Well, that's good. Now, tell me about Can your... Can I ask you a question? Well, I'm supposed to be the one asking the questions. But you are learning more. And the more you learn, the more questions you'll have. Yes, you may ask me a question. How often do you get out of here? What do you mean? This place. You must have a home. Every evening. I come in first thing in the morning and uh, I leave when the sun's setting. Meaning, I'm uh, just about out of here. So you get out quite often? Mm-hmm. I have every Saturday and Sunday off. I try to spend those days with my family as much as I can. Family? And what will you do when you're with your family? <laughs> what won't we do? Well, we like to hike. So sometimes we'll take a trip up to the mountains and explore new places. Sometimes we'll even camp. And if the weather's bad, like if it's raining, <laughs> we'll go see a movie. Sometimes I just like to be by myself. Well, well not entirely. <laughs> so I go for long walks with Lucy. Lucy? Our dog. That sounds nice. I've been thinking about this lately. And for the past 28 years, I've been here. Granted, a lot has changed. But one thing has remained the same. I'm in here. I want to go outside. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've been out once. No. No? Well, yes, but I don't want to talk about it. I just know I'm ready now. Well, that's why you have the monitor. You get to see outside all the time. You have control. This isn't control. If I wanted something, and I were to get that something, that would be control. Well, I'm sure one day you'll be able to... When? That's a question I unfortunately don't have an answer for. For 28 years, I've been here, teased by what's out there. Life. It looks so beautiful. And not all of it is good. From what I've seen, your world grows filthier with each passing day. And if that's true, isn't it only a matter of time before all the beauty is drained? I understand. But the fact of the matter is, you're still work in progress. You said you understand. I do. But there's progress to be made. I'm ready. I um, have a few more questions to ask you, but uh, we'll save those for another day. How did he react to the questions? Well, it was uh, more him asking me questions. He wants to go outside. He's curious to explore what he sees on his monitor. Absolutely not. Well, he's been outside once before. He had a negative reaction. That's my understanding, but what exactly happened? Shortly after he was given his skin, we took him outside. He 
got sidetracked by the world around him. He started resisting orders. He broke one of my colleagues' arms. He gave the other one mass internal. hadn't been for the emergency response team, I would have had to flip the switch. He ended up injuring eight men total that day. He nearly killed three. I had no idea. He doesn't understand his own strength. You said it was after you applied the skin. Yes. Well, that must have been 15 years ago at least. It's still too much of a risk. If something were to go wrong, I would have to shut him down. I have too much invested in him. He's ashamed of the past, sir. He's learned from it. He said he's ready. He's not ready. Well, then when will he be? Sir, if I may be so bold, I've worked on this project the last couple years, and I've been a key figure in his recent life. I know him well. But you didn't design him. You didn't spend nearly 30 years of your life with him. I know my creation. You've said it yourself, sir. He's resilient. Programming that you embed in him in the beginning is now, it's different. Some of it's even obsolete. He's changed from the way that you made him to just, just him. He's like a human, unpredictable. Unpredictable. You said it. Well, he, he thinks freely like we all do. I mean, wasn't that what you wanted? Why did you build him in the first place? We have to deal with what we create, right? Call it being naive. See, I had no idea he would start forming free thought. I mean, I always hoped he would, but I never thought about what it would be like if it actually happened. He's my life's work. I never had time to start a family. <laughs> like, I never even got married, I just, built my robot. And if things were to get out of hand again, I'd be forced into shutting him down. And that'd be it. Gone in a flash. I don't have another 30 years. I understand. Just please keep in mind he surprised us before. You have a good night. You too, sir.
four. He's changed from the way that you made him to just, just him. 